Okay, today I just want to take a minute and show you guys how to properly power cycle your internet equipment. Um, in every type of setup, you're going to have an internet power supply of some sort. It may look like this and be a little, you know, half an inch by an inch black box, or it may be a box that looks like this, and it's going to be about two and a half inches by three and a half inches. I'll show you how to do this one here in just one second. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this one. Um, with this power supply, what you can see is there's a cable that would come in from the antenna outside and goes into the port on this little half an inch by an inch black box. It also has coming out of it, there's a flat black cable that you can't remove. It's, it's attached. That would go into your router, and if you don't have a router, then it would go directly into your computer. Um, from there, there's also a thin black cable that goes in and plugs into your power strip. You can see both the router and the internet power supply are plugged into the power strip. That's very important. It protects your equipment from lightning strikes, power surges, etc. So if you don't have one, definitely be sure to get your uh, devices plugged into a power strip. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to we want to kill the power to both of these devices for about 30 seconds and plug them back in. A lot of times things just need to be rebooted and that will restore your internet uh, connectivity. And that's something that you can do you know, whether or not you're on the phone with support or you can do it before you go ahead and call support and a lot of times it will get you back on. In this particular instance this power supply has a green light. I don't know if you can see it but it does have a little green light right there. It's fairly dim. Um, so what we want to do is we want to unplug this from the power strip. We also want to unplug the router from the power strip. We're going to wait about 30 seconds and what that's going to do is that's going to allow the power to drain both out of the you know, internet power supply, out of the antenna on your home, um, and from the router. And you can see maybe uh, you, the green light went off here so that's the telltale sign that everything's been unplugged you know we're safe to go ahead and, and plug things back in so let's plug them back in we're gonna plug this guy back in we'll watch it and the green light came back on plug our router back in and this will restore power to both the router and to the antenna on your home. And both devices will take a minute to boot up. Um, it can take upwards of five minutes sometimes to restore connectivity. Um, so go ahead and you know give it four or five minutes and see if that restores your internet connectivity. And if not, you know at that point go ahead and call your internet service provider um, for some more help there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you with the other power supply. Okay, so on this one, you can see there's a blue light right there. Uh, same idea, it just goes to the power strip, as does the router. And you can see there is a cable labeled LAN that goes to the internet port of your router. And again, if you don't have a router, it would go straight into your computer. And there's a port labeled POE that goes outside to the antenna on your home. Same idea, we're going to unplug it from the power strip. We're going to wait for that little blue light to go out. There it goes. And we're going to give it a few more seconds here. Okay, generally that's going to be good enough. It usually 15, 20 seconds is just fine. Um, if you don't find that that restores your connectivity, you might do it for a little bit longer. 
I've had instances where 30 seconds wasn't long enough, but we did it again and waited a full minute and that worked. So now we'll go ahead and plug it back in. Blue lights back on. And you're gonna have the same time period where the equipment boots up and restores you know connectivity to the tower and get your internet back up and working so again wait five minutes if that doesn't restore your connectivity go ahead and and call your internet support help desk all right hope this video helps thanks